Well, I've been asked to make a few statements concerning uh, Jose Baluenga, and one of the things that uh, comes into my mind is the fact that he spent three years in Mülheim under Ruhr at the Max Planck Institute for Coal Research. Now, he was there many, many years before me. I arrived there to become the successor to Günther Wilke in 1991, but Jose was faster than I was, and he joined the Institute in 1967 and stayed there three years in the group of Heinz Hoberg, whom I knew much later also. And Jose was very productive in those days. In the lab of Heinz Hoberg, but also in a personal manner, because I think two children were born there, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Sophia was born in uh, Mülheim. And Sophia, many years later, I think more than two decades later, spent a summer in Mülheim in my laboratory. So there are a lot of contacts uh, with the Baluenga uh, family. And I don't want to go into details concerning his, his chemistry. Everybody knows that, his iodine reagent and uh, many other uh, reactions, uh, transition metal uh, reactions. Um, so he's a pioneer in organometallic chemistry. He's also a pioneer as a chemist in Spain, not just internationally, but in Spain. Uh, because he went back to uh, this country, Spain, and really built up uh, modern organic chemistry, especially, of course, the branch, the important branch of organometallic chemistry. So he's, I think one can consider him to be the father of organometallic chemistry in Spain. And if you look at chemistry, organic chemistry, organometallic chemistry today in Spain, it's blooming. There are so many groups doing fantastic uh, work. If I mention three or four or five names, then uh, I forget the sixth, seventh, and eighth, and therefore I'm not going to mention any names, but I think everybody knows uh, what I'm talking about. So this is another major achievement. Um, it's very difficult for international people to really uh, appreciate that, building up a, a completely new uh, tradition. In Germany, it's much, much older in the USA also, but uh, this is one of his uh, great achievements. So, um, in addition to these accomplishments as a person, I really like uh, Jose uh, in every respect. Uh, he's a real warm person. It's wonderful to make jokes with him. He immediately understands. He likes jokes himself. So uh, he's a very communicative uh, person. I think a wonderful, he must be a wonderful uh, husband. He must be a great uh, uh, father to his children. And all of that put together, um, I don't know how many chemists can can uh, come up with these, uh, I don't want to call them accomplishments, but uh, let's call them a characteristics. It's uh, so I found it always a privilege to uh, to know this nice uh, person. And of course, I wish him all the best uh, for the rest of his life, uh, longevity. And of course, as I said in my lecture yesterday, on the end of this, uh, of my lecture, the last slide, um, not just health and so on, and uh, the enjoyment that he has with his wife and his children and grandchildren. I know they Skype quite often with Sophia's children because uh, she's now in Geneva, that's pretty far away from Oviedo, so they cannot visit each other every month. But Skyping is a wonderful thing. And that keeps up and maintains the, the personal touch between grandchildren 
and grandfather and grandmother. Uh, I have that experience myself, but I'm sure that it's uh, one of the most important elements, I think, now in, in uh, Jose's life. So I wish him and his family and his grandchildren all the best for the future. Thanks.